Mama, 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 mini rants. Seeing as summer is rolling in over here in the UK, there is something I've been seeing more and more of that makes my blood boil. Those blokes who just walk around without a shirt on, no matter who they are or what they look like. And let me say this, it is just as inappropriate for someone who is physically comparable to Zac Efron, as well as someone who may bear more resemblance to Danny DeVito. You can't pick and choose, because this is a democracy! Look, we all know when it's uncomfortably warm, you want a way to cool down but we invented clothes for a reason. No one wants to see that shit. And it's not like they're at the beach or a swimming pool. These people walk around town with nothing but shorts on. And to top it all off, some of these bastards go into shops like this, their sweaty nipple juice and armpit hair dripping and falling into people's coffee or banana bread. As a society, we just need to decide what should be acceptable for everyone. Either we all wear a shirt at all times, with the beach and swimming pool being exceptions of course, or everyone, no matter the gender, should be allowed to take off their shirts when it's considered too warm for clothes. Case closed. Mama, 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 mini rants. Mormons, 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 Mormons. Any word sounds stupid and meaningless when you say it over and over again. Case in point, thank you, please, sorry, excuse me, after you. How's it going? Why did that character have to die on Game of Thrones? Don't get me wrong. Of course it's nice to be polite and treat others as you would wish to be treated yourself. But this whole etiquette thing is developed to the point where people apologize for things that they didn't even do. I walked past someone the other day as they dropped their bag. I helped them pick it back up. Then they said sorry. Sorry for what? You're sorry that you accidentally dropped your bag and you're sorry that I decided to help you? What does any of that even mean? When you repeat the same thing over and over again, it has the family guy effect. It stops having any reason to exist. In the West, we teach our young ones to be polite and say please and thank you to pretty much every single situation. So when it comes to them actively using the words, they're using it for no other reason than because they know it's simply what they need to do to get what they want. It has nothing to do with how genuinely pleased or full of thanks they are. And in turn, I find that it's quite difficult to thank someone when you legitimately mean it, because only 30 minutes ago did you thank them for making you a cup of coffee, telling you that your fly was undone, or breaking you out of jail. Do you think that if humans had a built-in Twitter character limit type thing on how many words they could say in a lifetime, we would even bother to use that kind of etiquette at all unless it was, you know, really necessary or meaningful? When I went to Spain a few years ago, I found that no one really apologized or added a false sense of friendliness to anything, and it was a breath of fresh air. What's the etiquette like in your current place of residence? Tell me in the comments, I'd certainly like to hear it. Mama, 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 mini rants. The Draw My Life YouTube trend has been something I've watched unfold over the past few years. It seems like it's something you have to do in able to have a popular YouTube channel. And with that, you also have to have a story about how difficult your life has been, or at least have someone important to you who died, or something along those lines. To be honest though, I don't really give a shit about Draw My Life videos, I just wanted an excuse to do this. My name is I Hate Everything, and welcome to my Draw My Life, too many mys in that sentence. When I was born, oh and I grew up in an orphanage by the way, because I somehow killed both my parents in childbirth, and I have no other relatives because they all died in a bee farm accident. Anyway, I found out I had the innate ability to read people's minds. Of course, I used this to my advantage, winning poker games or stealing valuable objects. Then I used my powers of super engineering to manufacture a machine called Cerebro, which I used to enhance my mind reading powers to find more chances of criminal exploitation. However, in doing so, I accidentally came across a mind so empty, so stupid, so immensely broken, that I just had to find out who this person was. It turned out to be Aquaman. We had a furious throwdown because the second act was starting to dip and we needed some action. And then there was a rocket ship, a dinosaur, three tons of cocaine, and 40 viewings of that awful 2014 animated version of Tarzan. Such a weird movie. And that's my life. That's all of it. I know there's not much, but blah blah blah, false sentiment, blah blah blah, it's thanks to you, whatever. Mama, 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 mini rants. Well, golly gosh there, people, another mini rant for the books. I'm never gonna do that again. So tell me, what do you think? Are you a fan of gross shirtless men? Do you agree with how to handle how we, sorry, how, how we handle etiquette? Or do, or did you think my Draw My Life video was too toned down for YouTube? Please. 
Thank you. <laughs> I'm not sure even what I'm reading anymore. Please thank you, excuse me, and whatever in the comments below. I don't even know why I wrote that. And as always, thanks for watching. I think I did that too loud. Let me do that again. And as always, so as always, thanks for... I'm doing it too loud. So as always... No, that's too quiet now. So as always, thanks for watching. All comments and ratings are appreciated. I'll see you next time. Bye. No, that was rubbish. Bye. Nope, that was equally rubbish. Bye. And that's more like it. F***ing Christ, I keep whacking the camera. Whacking off the camera, am I right? No, I'm not right.